In this retro anime review, I'm going to be looking at another one of the classic OVAs based off of Masamune Shiro manga. I've already done a video on Black Magic M66, so this time I'm going to be talking about Appleseed. Appleseed is a single episode OVA released in 1988, produced by the famous animation studio Studio Gainax. It was actually Studio Gainax's first animated OVA and their second animated project after Royal Space Force, The Wings of Hane Amis. The OVA would be directed by Kazuyoshi Katayama, who is probably best known for being the director of the anime series Big O. As mentioned before, the OVA is based on a manga written by Masamune Shiro, best known for being the creator of the Ghost in the Shell manga. Appleseed is the manga that I've long considered to be one of Shiro's greatest works, if not his greatest. It features his signature cyberpunk style, but in my opinion features better characters and story than are presented in the manga for Ghost in the Shell. I've always thought Ghost in the Shell became really great with the 1995 film and the standalone complex anime series, while I felt that the manga lacked in several areas. So despite being less popular, I've always thought Appleseed was Shiro's best work, along with the Dominion Tank series, which I also thought was a very good and very fun manga. None of that really matters though, because in this OVA, they forego the story presented in the manga and decide to go with an original story written by Katayama. The story features the same main characters and the same setting, but everything else is changed and is original for the OVA. Changing the story up is a potentially risky move, but it ended up working well in the context of the OVA. The original story fits in well with the spirit that's presented in the manga, but allows the OVA to present a coherent plot that's able to develop and run to completion within the short just over an hour long runtime that the OVA has. The OVA story keeps the same two main characters as well as the same setting, the city of Olympus that the story takes place in. The story takes place in the future after a third world war has destroyed most of the planet. Out of the ruins, the city of Olympus is established. Olympus is formed to be a type of utopian society where humans and cyborgs live alongside each other. A large portion of the population of Olympus are bioroids that are created to serve the needs of mankind. And a very large portion of the humans living in the city are biologically augmented with a large number of cybernetics and various technologies that are typical to a Shiro manga. The main characters of the story are Deunin Newt and Briarios Hecatoncheries. Before the events of the OVA, they were both members of the SWAT team for the LAPD. After the events of World War III that destroy most of the world, the two are discovered in a ruined city and are brought to Olympus and are invited to join the city's e-SWAT team, with which they will protect the city from terrorist threats or other threats to the security of the city. Dayunin is a normal human woman without any cybernetic enhancements, but she is an extremely capable and skilled member of the eSWAT team. She specializes in using a type of mechanical exoskeleton power suit called a landmate. Briarios is a cyborg that has very many cybernetic enhancements. In addition to the numerous enhancements that his cybernetics provide to his body, he is connected to the Hecatonchery system, which is a very powerful cybernetics controller that is capable of controlling a very large number of cybernetics. This ability really isn't explored in the OVA, but it's a bigger part of the manga, where it's explained that a single user of the Hecatonchery system is able to control an entire aircraft carrier alone. The plot of the OVA centers around the two trying to stop a terrorist plot by a foreign terrorist by the name of AJ Sebastian. His goal is to destroy the supercomputer Gaia that controls the functions of the city of Olympus. He is aided by another member of ESWAT named Sharon, who has become disillusioned with Olympus after the death of his wife. 
His wife had grown depressed over time and came to feel that she was trapped within the city like a cage and that the seemingly utopian society they live in was too programmed and manufactured, thus taking away the freedoms of humans to make their own decisions and live their lives freely. Sharon's wife ends up jumping from their balcony and after her death, he begins to feel the same way that she did. He blames the society of Olympus for his wife's death and decides that he wants to destroy Olympus and free humanity from from the society that binds them. The story of this OVA centers around our two heroes along with the rest of the E-SWAT team trying to stop the terrorist group's plans and protect the city. This has long been one of my favorite anime OVAs. It's a well animated, action packed, entertaining and enjoyable OVA. It is one of my favorite stories of the OVAs of that time period. The story plays out like a good action packed 80s action movie that's really fun to see in an animated format. I think the story was well written and the changes made to create an original story for the OVA ended up working out pretty well. The original story was able to capture the setting and feeling of the Apple Sea manga pretty effectively, but presented in a way where it's told in a story that can be started and wrapped up within the short hour long runtime of the OVA. The OVA has really great action sequences. There's some great scenes of like the police action where the E-SWAT team goes in and breaks up a terrorist plot and stops a hostage situation. And there's a lot of great scenes where the E-SWAT team fights against the terrorists in the landmate suits, which provides a lot of entertainment through the mech battles and fights. This animation successfully brings across Shiro's unique art design and cyberpunk style. The design of the city, the landmate mechs, and the cybernetic enhancements that people undergo all have a very unique, cool, futuristic, cyberpunk type of design to them. The story, despite being pretty simple, does occasionally explore some pretty interesting ideas, such as the question of whether it's better for society to be in a utopian society where everything is manufactured and people don't have the freedom to do whatever they want and make their own decisions, but everything is provided to them. Or if it's better to have more free will but not have those things provided and potentially have more conflict. I enjoyed the characters in the OVA. I think Dayunin and Briarios are, are pretty cool characters and pretty enjoyable. The plot progresses nicely, but they also give a level of humor and fun that breaks up the story a bit and makes it more entertaining to watch. Overall, this OVA is one of the more entertaining anime of its time and one of the best that its genre has to offer. I'm going to give it 4 stars out of 5. If you watched this far, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one.